We are joined by Mustafa Salame, uh, who is currently uh, traveling, and but he is from Jordan. And um, Mustafa and I are talking about uh, the dreams of a refugee. Um, Mustafa was, uh, you know, born to uh, Palestinian refugee parents in Kuwait, and um, then he was in London, Edinburgh, and he has traveled all across uh, the region. Um, Mustafa is the first Jordanian ever to reach the North Pole and to scale the seven summits. Uh, he failed to, uh, you know, scale Mount Everest uh, twice before finally reaching the top in 2008. And um, he is now a devout Muslim and he's uh, spreading the message of tolerant Islam the world over as a motivational speaker and as an activist. Uh, Mustafa, great to have you on LitFestX. Thank you very much, Kumar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you for the introduction. So, Mustafa, tell us a little bit about what was that life-changing incident that you have uh, mentioned and you have spoken of before. Tell us a little bit about that first. Um, I mean, the life changing that uh, happened with me, I mean, the biggest one was the dream that I had in 2004 when I wake up in the middle of the night and I dreamt that I was standing in the top uh, of the world and were calling uh, the prayer, the azan, and praying for peace. Uh, so this is was the total, complete uh, uh, turning point uh, in my life, uh, which changed my life completely. And, and then from there on, what did you do? You know, uh, I know you, you know, uh, scaled uh, several peaks, but uh, what else uh, did you do from there on? in terms of your writing, in terms of your motivational yeah. speaking? Sure, I mean, from, from there on, uh, um, I mean, I, I, uh, my aim was to climb Mount Everest, and I went there to climb the highest point in each continent, which is uh, the Seventh Summit, which is I was never uh, aware of uh, uh, before. So uh, I've come to this uh, beautiful uh, life or of adventure, and then, of course, I went ahead to do the North Pole, the South Pole, uh, to become one of 13 people in the world to do the Grand Slam of mountaineering and polar adventure. And it's not just, uh, this is was just in a dream that uh, I want to achieve for myself. It was first for my country, uh, Jordan, to be. I believe in um, which one of them is tolerant Islam and the other one is Palestine and uh, uh, also did something about community uh, which is I started two initiatives one called from the lowest to the highest for cancer lowest point to the highest point uh, uh, Everest and um, I gathered two teams which uh, we fundraised two million dollars for King Hussein Cancer Center and another climb for uh, uh, Gaza for schools in Gaza which also we fundraised money there so um, you know I end up now uh, uh, with writing the book which uh, 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 you know, we we will discuss which is the uh, dreams uh, uh, of uh, a refugee. Right. You know, you you are not uh, trained as a mountaineer, and and yet you have achieved what you have. Uh, what was that part of the journey like? The preparation, the the hard work, etc. Tell us about it. I mean, you know, I. Yeah, I always believe that there is absolutely nothing impossible. And I came from uh, uh, a refugee left Palestine. 
living in a refugee camp, uh, grow up in a refugee camp. And uh, I always knew that I wanted to do something to change my families and the people around me like so. And I always aim uh, uh, to change and that's since I was a kid and I did make the change I was working as a waiter for years in Jordan before to work as a waiter in Jordanian in his house pretty much but I am that uh, about to work in restaurant and wash dishes for years to be able to learn how to speak English and write so I could go to university and uh, do a degree in international hospitality and tourist management because my dream was to be a general manager for a five-star hotel. And I was nearly there. It wasn't very long for me to be, I was the, uh, the director of food and beverage manager then. And I know I could go ahead and do be the general manager, but this dream, came and changed my life. So the, the inspiration, the motivation that I have was I want to make the change. I always believe uh, uh, that if you want to make a change, you have to start with yourself. You know, when I, I started smoking two buckets of cigarettes every day, I was working very hard, I was clapping, I was doing all the stuff that is not healthy. But then I stopped everything and I start uh, uh, aiming to become healthy and fit so I could face this mountain. I planned it, I took the sponsorship, I have, I have difficult time, people not believing in me because everyone thought I was mad because uh, I never did any climbing in my life. I believed in myself first before anybody believed me and that's why uh, uh, I succeeded. I have the faith as well in God, and I always relate things to God. Uh, in 2002, for nine months, I've lain in India more than I've lain from anywhere in the world. I, I that's why I appreciate and I love. Uh, uh, this country, I love India, and uh, you know, I, I always go back uh, on and off. Uh, and um, I've learned from you know, I was in Kashmir, I climbed in Sonomarg, uh, and I went there and I followed a Sufi teacher. I've learned about Sufism, I've learned about my religion there, I've learned about Hinduism, which is. Uh, a beautiful religion, Islam, Sikhism, all these uh, 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 religion gave me something uh, help to to actually achieve what I achieve in my life. You know, clearly, uh, Mustafa, you've you've practiced what you are currently preaching, and you have you know really followed. Uh, so to say the dream that you have you know what has been yeah. your key mantra you know you mentioned that uh, really as a refugee you had nothing access to access to shelter and uh, you know basic necessities were a challenge so from there to here what has been your core mantra i, I mean my Core mantra is the faith I have on myself first. I believe in my destiny and I always believe that destiny is not because God has written it for me and then I'm walking through that destiny. I believe in destiny that I create because I have a choice because God gave me a brain to think. Um, um, I, I could make the choices and because of that, I made all these choices. So I create my uh, 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 destiny. I'd, I'll never be perfect. I go on life, and I the most important things that I take responsibility of that mistakes and I move on and move on and move on. But one thing is really important to me that it's what's in 
بالنيات, which is whatever you do, it have to have that good intention in your heart. So then things, you know, karma will uh, help you to get anywhere. God, because I believe God is in my heart. Yeah, I believe God is my heart. It's not uh, just inside a mosque or a church or a temple. God is in my heart. I carry God in my heart so I could pray in the mosque. I could pray in the church. I could pray in the temple. And I could find God there because he's in my heart. Uh, so these things make me very strong. And uh, uh, also one other thing is the planning that I have. You know, you have to plan things when you lead. Uh, what I do is leading myself to go go to the top of myself, leave the South and North Pole, leading myself to fundraise money for charity. So the way I lead myself is to plan it properly, is to train properly, is to be patient, uh, because you can't be uh, a general manager for a big company if you don't work really, really hard. You can't get a great grades in your university or school if you don't work really, really hard. So you have to work very hard to get to the top. And then when you get to the top, then you have to remember how you got there. And you have to remember as well that uh, I was coming from nothing, I become something, so I have to go back again and help again, building uh, uh, something that uh, is very important to me, which is my society, my country, uh, you know, wherever I have bashing of. And most last important things that help you is the passion. If you have a passion on something, if you're really in love with it, absolutely anything, you have to be in love with it. You're not just in love with a woman, you're not just in love with your big house and your big car. You're in love with the stuff that you do. So it will, will, will reach you to completely beyond uh, absolutely any impossible. Mustafa, uh, you know, we live in times which are uh, clearly, you know, showing that the, the amount of violence uh, based on religion is increasing every day and um, you know what what are your views on that and what are you doing uh, as you go around the world and do your talking and your articles etc you see and you know religion it's a beautiful thing and i believe there is no religion will tell you to bad things. Every single religion come to this earth is teaching you something beautiful, is very peaceful. I'm not gonna defend the religion I believe in uh, that Islam, because I know that it's very peaceful. And I'm not gonna sit here and defend it and tell you, of course it was bloody. Of course, uh, uh, they, you know, 1500 years ago, uh, um, when Islam, was uh, um, was coming out from Mecca and Medina and going everywhere. It was meant to show people the peaceful of the message that Muhammad and we all come from one place, from Adam and Eve, and this is what I believe. And then we all have, you know, all the all the religion believe in one thing, people who do stuff in the name of the religion. ISIS, they are as you know, Muslim as the KKK, all the, you know, some Buddhists in Burma, some Hindus that kill, you know, people who are people extremists who want to change everything and people to make them believe in their belief, which I don't believe. because. Very clearly, uh, uh, I believe, and the Quran tells me, that I have to respect all other religion, And I have to respect uh, uh, um, the, the base of humanity. So I am a human being who believes in the respect of all human beings. And it doesn't matter what you believe and who you worship. 
It has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to change the way you think. My change is my action. When I go up to the mountain and I read the Quran or the call of prayer, that's the action I do, is how respect that mutual we have. Like India, in India, with so many other, there's so many religions, there's so many beliefs, but everyone was living in peace. There was no problem whatsoever. And I think this is what, this is a great example, a fine example of, of, Tolerance and people have to follow that because um, I respect you if you who you are because you give me that respect back and that's it the trust uh, uh, the peacefulness the humanity that we have all these people that they do in the name of Islam and bomb themselves and think they're gonna go and spend their life and with sixty version that's not gonna happen if you kill somebody. You kill a civilian if you are protecting your country if somebody come in and occupy your country and you defend in your country and you die to to protect your country then you are a murderer i will believe in that but i don't believe out to go to other country bomb yourself kill a civilian and you think you're gonna go to heaven i don't believe on it at all yeah. No, that's a very important message, uh, Mustafa, on uh, on the power of religion and and what religion really uh, stands for. And um, I'm sure with the with your book and your personal life story of uh, how you went from being a refugee with no means to to somebody who is spreading so much of goodwill and so much of positive energy across the world will really uh, change. The way people are looking at uh, all kinds of religion and, and provide a motivating angle to what they can do with their lives. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mustafa, for joining us on Litfest X. And uh, more power to you, and may you uh, keep climbing and achieving uh, greater heights. Much for you know, the great messages you do doing uh, by contacting all these people around the world. It's absolutely a pleasure uh, being with your company and thank you so much and namaste. Namaste, thank you. Thank you.